It's combining theatre, aerial performance, dance, haka, hip-hop and set to live music. Tikitane Mahuta is on tour across New Zealand and set to open Wellington's Kiamo Festival with a bang, probably literally. Here to tell us more about this incredible show, please welcome to the cafe, Tikitane. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. So, I've been trying to get my head around what exactly goes on, so okay. you have to explain exactly what happens at the show. Okay, I've got to go from the beginning, yep. right? So, um, Tikitane Mahuta... Um, was created by a dancer, credible dancer, aerial specialist called Tani Mahuta Gray. And he learned his craft in Europe, right? And so aerial dancing is when you're using wires and pulleys and counterweights off a truss. So, you know, he'll be on the ground and leap in the air and spin around. And it's all like those kind Chinese of movies you see too, where they do those incredible yeah, martial arts. exactly, mm -hmm. but just beautiful dancing. Mm -hmm. So he brought it back here. He heard my first album about eight years ago and it triggered something in him. And he was just like, this is, this is telling a story that sort of en he envisioned a show around it. And so he got hold of me and told me all about it. And I was like, yeah, go for it, man, go for it. Wow. And then um, two years ago, he put on the pilot show in Christchurch. And I went along to it and I, I saw it and I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away. And I was like, how can we do this live? Mm. How can we make this an extravaganza dance, aerial, light, sound show, but with me doing the music live? And so this is where we are right now. Um, we've already done two shows. Wow. Yes, we did yes. Um, Palmerston North on Friday, which was amazing, and we did Napier on uh, Monday last night. Yeah, was amazing, and so we've got another eleven shows to go, wow. so and it's incredible. So you've got you you're on stage playing live, and you've got yeah. dancers and all sorts of I'm stuff. Actually, going on. Oh, I'm I'm in an orchestra pit, so I'm off the stage. Because if I was on stage, I'd get probably get kicked. Yeah, I'll probably right. get oh, there kicked. He goes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because these dancers are incredible. They've come from all around the world. They're young. They're hungry. They're amazing, and they're professional. And they've come in, and they're doing this incredible job. They look amazing. I mean, these mm. boys and girls look incredible, mm. Mm. and they're doing things that are almost physically impossible, wow. you know. And they're doing it two times a day, like wow. two, two hours, take a break, two hours. So we're doing matinees as well. Oh, so we are playing the music while they do this, but they're also telling a story, um, a, 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 an incredible story about like tragedy, death despair and then there's hope, love, new life, inspiration, yeah. all that kind of stuff and fucker papa genealogy, all through this medium of dance and music. But so is, is that some of your story? It's uh, yes, yeah, some of it is. I think the cool thing is when Tani Mahuta uh, Gray sort of wrote the story, he pulled it out of my music, wow. right? And um and that must be quite freaky. It's, it's amazing. Mm. Like for an artist, you know, I spend uh, artists out there. We spend so much time in the studio just making music, just crafting it, and then we re record it, and then we release it. Hello, baby. Here yeah. it is. Yeah. And it might get played on the radio, on the TV. You might get picked up for an advert here and there. But never in my career has someone gone and take my body of music and gone written a theatre performance, aerial extravaganza oh, to my music. What a special thing to do. It's so cool. It's the coolest thing. Like, I've done some cool stuff. Yeah. And this yeah. is definitely a career Well, it's kind of like watching a um, the world's best music video live. You exactly. Know? Yeah, exactly. Nice. And if you come to the show, you'll be floored. Because nice. there's so much going on, so much emotion, uh, so much energy, mm. and it's all live right in front of you. So what else have you got going on? Because you, you do a whole lot of other things. You've got a new album a sometimes? Stuff? Yeah, perhaps? working on a new album, but I'm producing a lot. Um, you know, in the past, I've done things like um, 660 did the record, their first album. Um, John Too Good from the Adults and She Hard. At the moment, I'm working on a girl called uh, Rhea Hall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Shapeshifter, I'm still the live engineer, so after this, we go to Canada and Europe and all that kind of You've stuff. Got a bit on. A lot's going on. So, nice. my, th so this is what I mean. This is really cool because this is such a different thing. I love it. And, um, you know, you, awesome. can get, you can get tickets. Yes. www.takirua.co.nz, <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing matinees, right? So, students can get in for 10 bucks only. So, you know, awesome. Good salesman. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> For more information and how you can get tickets to see Tikitani Mahuta, check out the website, which is on screen right now. Nice one. <laughs> absolute pleasure, Tiki. Awesome, Best of luck. We'll see you at one of those shows, eh? Yeah, cool. <laughs>